Good morning everybody. It's Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Finally waited enough to kind of get this storm up a little bit. Um, the goal for the day is this is my 1992 OBS uh, Chevy pickup truck. Um, I'm using it as a is a uh, plow truck and a, and a yard truck. I, th I think I did a video a couple weeks ago on it. But the main problem is, is the um, uh, fuel pump is out, I think. And um, I got to get that gas cap and all that stuff fixed. And then the uh, a shackle broke over here. Underneath there, it's a dormant part for about 20 bucks. But um, what I need to work on now is getting the I'm not sure exactly how this happened actually before I drop that fuel tank I'm gonna check on a couple other things this is a nice truck here you're not seeing double one two alternators that's pretty nice for for an old truck like this but the ends were uh, uh, melted and the wires were melted together so I cut them both off and I have new ends, so I'm going to put them on here. I'm going to start with that and then check through any fuses for any fuel pump or anything. It's got the extra battery tray. I'd really like to add that extra battery. But I got the battery on it now charging. Supposedly, all it needs is the uh, fuel pump. Well, and that spring hanger, but um, supposedly she runs. I'm going to have to get this um, cleaned up and and sprayed down it's all full of rust I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up they had it just sitting over here on the side and uh, not good she's an old rust bucket but uh, uh, old red I'm gonna sand this paint down rhino line the whole thing so um, it's gonna be a pretty neat yard truck but uh, I'm gonna get the tire aired up for now and then I'm gonna put them uh, pieces on there and then I'm actually going to flick the key a couple times. And then I'm going to go through the fuse panel. Because if for some reason maybe they tried starter fluid or something. And burnt the wires. That could have tripped something to say the fuel pump was bad. So we're going to start with diagnosis. We're going to fix the stuff we know is bad first. We know those wires are bad. We're going to start with there. And then we're going to check the uh, fuses. Because... If I don't check the fuses and I pull that fuel tank and replace that fuel pump, it would have been just a fuse. <laughs> so I'm gonna replace some wires and then uh, I'm gonna check the fuses if they're underneath here, fuel pump fuses, and then uh, I'll, I'll uh, turn you back on after I get this done. And by the way, it's like 15 degrees out. It is cold. So I got a lot of stuff to do and no time to do it. So, be right back. All right, we're back. Okay, I replaced them wires. Didn't do any good. So I cut, I ground the two bottom bolts off because they weren't gonna come loose. Now I soaked these top ones, this one and this one. They look like they got good threads, at least on that one. If I can at least unbolt one of them. If not, I'll just break them both off. But the other strap was already broke. I didn't even think they... Well, maybe it was there a while ago. But I got the jack under it to hold it. So I'm going to finish taking these four bolts off. Taking this whole bracket off. I did pour some gas down the carburetor, and it does spark and try to fire, so it is definitely going to be a, a fuel pump issue. So once I get the fuel pump fixed, then uh, it looks like she's going to run, so that helps uh, with the motivation. So um, I'll be back with an update. All right, so we got an update. The tank is out. Let's see. That bolt I was able to take out, that's good. And actually, that's a stud, so that could actually be pounded back in and, and put a new one on. But that one's still good, and that one's the one I ground off. But up here in the northeast, we got, you know, rust. So these lines I had to cut off up here because up in the frame rail, they were bad. So it was just easiest to do these. 
So I'm trying to figure out where to where to stop the hemorrhaging from this product is from this uh, uh, job's going to come here, because you know, obviously new fuel tank, new sending unit, new fuel pump, new fuel lines would all be great. But I haven't heard the truck run yet, and I'm only going on somebody's word by saying that it is only the fuel pump. But the the tank. We got some corrosion up here. I can probably get that broke loose in these lines. They're not going to last long But I kind of really just so this should be the vent tube And these are the fuel lines and I might be able to get them disconnected right here And I think I got a fuel pump out back, but the only problem is is that plug broke off Right there, so I don't know I, I think I'm gonna have to go with I think this unit comes to here and then I'll buy new fuel lines from there. But the tank's not going to last long either. Because right over here it's it's flaking real bad. So I guess as long as I didn't put more than, say, half tank in there. <laughs> might be good. But that's not really optimal. So there's half tank fuel in there now. But the bad, the... Uh, the back strap wasn't in so I really need a new strap for there new hanger or don't mess with it just put it back in bust them out get two new studs which I could do and then just put it back in and then strap this side I don't know it's hard to do I, I, I tend to go overboard on projects so I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be the best way to to uh, get this done here because <laughs> You know, I got to find out if the runs, moves, and drives, and it's going to last more than a week before I start putting, you know, fuel tank, fuel pump, sending unit, new filler neck hose, all that. Before I put all that in here, I'm up to five, six, seven hundred bucks, and uh, you know, it don't do no good if the truck don't last more than a week. So what I may do, I don't know yet. I'm going to do some thinking, and I'll update you when I can. We go so I did manage to get it off, and we got a uh, you know a couple things I got to check into. Really not sure that fuel's supposed to be uh, uh, red <laughs> gas, and there's a few things that that fell down in there. Let me see if I can get my phone in there. Oh, my phone don't go in there. But. <laughs> okay, but uh, there's a few things floating down in there that we'll have to. Uh, See if we can fish out if we can't. But supposedly what was wrong is the fuel pump. So um, in order to do the fuel pump, these are the lines that broke and all this is so rusty. I think I'm just going to go get a sending unit and, um, and and try it from there. Even though these un undo from there, these lines about a few inches longer than here were, were uh, bending and broke. So I think I'm going to get whatever comes off of here new and then uh, get some rubber ended line, maybe. Maybe. We'll see how cheap it is. And, well, maybe I'll see if they still sell this line. They might not. I'm just thinking they don't sell this line anymore. But um, I'm going to try to get that line. I'm going to give it a call. See what we got. I'm trying to do this fairly <laughs> right. But I, I need to know that the truck runs and drives first before we can put a ton of money in it. And technically the tank isn't bad yet. It's not leaking. I don't know if I could try to... If I try to clean that up, it may end. You know, I'll probably just put some rust killer on that. That might try to stop it there. But it's, it's never leaving the property. So, um, you know, it won't be on the road. It won't go over 10 miles an hour. Unless we're doing a burnout. Okay, got to go. Bye. Time for a Harbor Freight visit. So I put it in there and you took a picture?
Is that one side? All right, finally went got all the parts that I think we're going to need for now. I bought this new um, sending unit here. It comes in this uh, blue uh, car quest. It says fuel pump, but it's not a fuel pump. It's just a sending unit. But it came with a lot of the extra parts. It came with the rubber line to attach it. It came with an extra um, insulator. Now, what I did find in the old one that I took off didn't have that uh, insulator on it. So I'm wondering if they didn't replace this fuel pump not too long ago and they didn't put that, that um, that's what the new one looked like. But I had this fuel pump sitting around. So that's the fuel pump right there, just that little piece. So I'm gonna try working with this one but this kit comes with a pretty good kit a lot of stuff you need um, a lot of extra stuff I didn't think it'd have it comes with the new sock that goes in the bottom of the fuel pump you just stick it on like that I'm gonna wait and put it on till I see how this comes in I popped the uh, um, float off so that I could get the sock in first then I'm gonna put that in there and then pop it all together and it comes with a new ring and um, uh, the seal the old one I don't know where it went it's laying around here somewhere but um, when I took it off it came in uh, pieces so we're gonna go ahead I think it's underneath here I don't know anyway I'm gonna put this on back together and uh, turn the heat back on it's, it's kind of cold out. So, the only other part I'm going to have a problem with is the, the broke off uh, uh, filler neck. So, I think I'm going to work on that later. But what I'm going to end up doing is the fuel lines for this, those replacements right there, are over $200 with tax. And um, so what I'm going to do for now, I just need to make sure this runs and drives. I got it to fire yesterday. It's on, you know, I put some gas down the throttle body and it fired up and I didn't hear any knocks in it for the few seconds it ran. So that gave me the faith to go ahead and, and get the sending unit and stuff. I'm just going piece by piece. You know, I, I'll put the right fuel lines on it. I need to. Once I find out it gets running, I just got regular um, fuel line. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to pull these back. I'm going to pull them back like that and just put the fuel line on and double clamp them right there on both sides because I'm not going to go spend, you know, over $200 on fuel lines if the truck's just junk. So, um, um, I'll turn it back on when I got better progress.